the back. This is the third time I read, I filmed this info. Well. Alright. Here's the two. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, pause the video right now. Go hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification button to see when I post a new video. I am I have lots of video ideas coming to your way. Lots of fun ones. Lots of good ones, one that you do not want to miss. So, go right now, I will do you five seconds to five to my channel. Five, four, three, two, one. You got better do it. I know if you have it. I know that you have it. Alright. Also, give this video a big thumbs up. And here's a question for you guys. You guys can be thinking about the question to answer after the video is over. Who's your favorite college football team? If you want to know mine, you gotta stick around until the very end when I release when I release it. Alright, here we go. This video is gonna be a new theory on my channel, which will be a prediction of college football. Or more of an outlook of the weekend day. So who's gonna win, who's gonna lose, who's gonna tie, what game is gonna be a good thing to watch. If you wanna know, just stay tuned and watch the whole video. Alright, enough of that. Let's get on to the real thing you came here for. Alright, first day, we got Alabama for Ole Miss. Ole Miss is getting up there, but they're not quite there. But they might have a chance against Alabama. Only because this is Alabama's first away day of the 2018 season. And if you saw Alabama two days last week, and the week before that, they blew out their opponent in their home stadium. They won't have their home stadium this week. It's gonna be away. So Ole Miss might have a chance because they're home. But if they but if they don't come out playing fun enough, then I have to say Alabama might take on the W and might win with 25 points ahead of Ole Miss. Because Alabama have a dual threat quarterback system. They got two. They got Shaylin Hook. They got two of us. And they'll are the guy. I want both of those quarterbacks on my team. Two of us have a really good he can throw that ball like a cannon. No one team. He can just throw it down the end zone and someone hit him receiver with touch it. Hope is more of a running guy. He will run out of the pocket and just throw both down. With that alone, it will help them win the game. But also on the other side of the ball, their defense is what really makes them win by 25 points. So if I had different things, I would show you right here. I would show you right here. If I roll an even number, Alabama's going to win by 25 points. And they're going to have one special team touchdown. I, I just rolled this. If you guys can't see that, I just rolled this. So, Alabama's going to win by 25 points. And they're going to have a special team touchdown. Oh, next thing. Next thing we got Middle Tennessee and Georgia. Personally, if you, first of all, if you look at Georgia's previous season and their first two games of 2018 season. They won both of those days, and they 
back to the playoff last year and the year before that. There was that, there was the team. Middle Tennessee is kind of an average team going up against a harder opponent. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be a tough thing for Middle Tennessee to win. But if Middle Tennessee, just like Ole Miss, if they come out on, it might be a doable game for them to win. But I'm pretty sure out of this game, I might have to say, I'm gonna go five ship in, and I'm gonna say Georgia is gonna take the W. And by how much? I'm gonna say maybe 15 points. And they might have, they would, Georgia would have an interception on defense. They would have an interception. Alright, the next day, Oklahoma Tuna versus the Iowa State. If you've been watching the Iowa State, they are fighting. Their fan base is fighting. Oklahoma Tuna is one of the top teams. And I have to say, if you look, the effort on the, on the website or the internet got a name for it. They're saying Oklahoma is going to win by 82%. But you know, people can lie. The internet can lie. So I'm thinking, it probably won't be 82%. Oklahoma might still win. But I'm going to say, it's going to be close to 70%. I, I'm sure I'm gonna I'm gonna take that. If I put that, so the that, and then a two. That combination right there, I think Iowa is gonna have an interception in that Oklahoma. I don't know if it's gonna be a pick I don't know if it's gonna be just like a two yard interception. Maybe a ten yard thing. But I can feel it in my blood. I think Iowa State's gonna have an interception in Oklahoma. Alright. So, in the end we are to that thing. I think Oklahoma's gonna win. By ten points. Alright, the next day, Miami versus Toledo, which is in Ohio. We all know Miami has been a good team, but they haven't really been playing that well. Even though they're predicted to win, I took take. Maybe Miami's gonna mess up. Maybe throw two interceptions in Ohio at Toledo. So I'm gonna say Miami's gonna win, but they only gonna win by five. You can just face it. When most southern teams in the warmest climate come up and say the North team. They either do dirt or they either messed up and do horrible because of the climate change. So I'm gonna say Miami win, but only by five. Alright. Clemson versus the Georgia Southern. First off, I haven't really Heard. I haven't really watched the Georgia Southerners, so I don't know if they're dead. I never heard of that team before. But since they're playing, since they're playing Slepton, I would just go all in. I'm going all in. And 
I would put all in and I would say slump it to the wind. But till it ends, slump it is one of those teams that can stay up with Alabama and maybe beat them. They beat them four, but like a year ago. So they're in the top team. And Flapton defense is really good. So I'm gonna say Flapton is gonna win. And I would say they're gonna win by 28 points. So they'll have a 28 point lead on Georgia Southern. Alright. The next team on the thing is unfortunately it got cancelled because of the Jose Floyd. And that was UCF and University of North Carolina. And it was supposed to be in North Carolina, but we all know North Carolina got hit on Friday morning from Jose Floyd and they got hit pretty bad. So Leave a comment below that you're praying for the Carolina because they need our help, they need our prayer. Half of them are, have no power. Alright. Fast is a normal show showing. The next date, the next thing is Tenth State and PSU. Which, which is Penn State, and you all know how crazy Penn State fan did. And you don't really hear a lot about Penn State in football, but you do in basketball. So here, I'm gonna say it's gonna be a good game. A good game that could end up in a tie. Or it took them down to the very last second. And whoever wins will only win by one or two points. I'm calling this game a very close game. I'm calling it, it could end up at a tie. Alright. The next game on my list that I'm playing, it unfortunately canceled. Because it's supposed to be played in at Virginia Tech and then Virginia Tech down a little got hit a little bit by Hurricane Floyd and caught into flooding so they had to tend to it. So I then play out to Virginia and North Carolina. How is the last one? University of Davis. And Stanford. I'm just gonna call it right here. Sam Stanford is gonna win this day. They they play better and I never heard of their opponent before. David? Have you heard of David? You look at David? So just for that day, Stanford is gonna win this one. And it's not going to be a close day either. Alright, this one is my favorite. This next one is going to be my favorite mashup the whole weekend. Vanderbilt and Notre Dame. This one could be another slow day. It's a possibly end in a tie. But if it doesn't, it's going to... It's gonna, the score's gonna be a one point game or a two point game the whole way through. But if it's not like that, that means a team did not show up. But I just feel it's gonna be a tie or a one point game. And if I had a super to win them, I might have to go with, I'm gonna do an upset. I'm gonna say Vanderbilt is gonna upset Notre Dame. 
I like Alex Auburn or LSU. Auburn is pretty damn good. They did beat Alabama last year. So, for that way, but if you, but I watched their football game last week and they didn't play so well. So this team should do either way. It took though Auburn take the lead and have the lead the whole entire thing. Or, if Auburn play how they did last week, I can see that Ella Hill would win. So it's all about who come out on the field and who, who thought out Quan is really what it comes down to. Alright, Michigan and SMU. Alright, this one, I might have to say, Michigan's gonna win. Because Michigan is another state that is very, very good at college football. Other than Alabama, Michigan is probably where you would find the most college fans. that enjoy watching college football. So I would say Michigan is going to win this one. The next team is Tantor then, which is West Virginia and North Carolina State. So, so far there's three games this weekend that are Tantor. Alright, the next one is BYU and Wisconsin. If I had to pick, I would, I would really want BYU to win, but I know that's not gonna happen. I didn't win Thompson, so I have to give it to win Thompson, and it might not be a very good thing for BYU. But I don't forget, don't get me wrong. I BYU did an awesome duel. But they're not very good at football. Alright, the next one. Oklahoma State for Boise State. This one is a tough one to make a position for. But if I had to come down to a team that I but that I've been doing my research on. I, I would have to say Oklahoma State is going to win this one, but not by much. The highest they might win is maybe a touchdown, but the closest they might win is by one point. They might win by one point or a touchdown. So it's going to be another close thing. I recommend you pay, pay attention to that one. The next game on Saturday is San Jose State and Oregon. Alright. Are, are we just talking about right here? I might have to say, just looking at San Jose State Western, they lost their last two games. And they don't. They might be a good football team. This football program, but I don't think they're better than Oregon, so I'm gonna say Oregon's gonna win that one. It might be a blowout, or it might be like a 10 point.